Um, uh... Did you really think I wouldn't find you? Well, I'm not hiding. This is where I live now. Apparently, not everyone knows that. And by everyone, do you mean a certain reporter who won't let go of the scent? I'm not the one holding on. How did you get the key? I think I'm your wife. You are. Sign the papers, Michael, and I'll never have the right to a key or anything else of yours again. You know, a woman who will root through other people's garbage just to get the story once. will stop I only did nothing. that once. Please, let's just get this over with. Your hair, it's doing that, that thing that it does when you're... Do you uh, have the papers? You know, uh, maybe we should review our faults and make sure we're doing the right thing. You're intolerant of people in plaid. Did you always have to have the aisle seat? You use yellow mustard. You can never let anything go. Right. Like the time you said I wasn't a man of the people. I never said that. I heard you. But it's not what I meant. Well, you're a writer. Shouldn't you mean well, what you're you a say? You're lawyer. You manipulate people into saying things they don't mean. Okay, well, I'm a... I am a conflicted manipulator. What I was trying to communicate was that, that there's this schism. This schism between personal beliefs and what you have to do to protect the Constitution, which for you is defending some heinous rich bastard, and for me is writing about some heinous rich bastard. The terrible schism. Yes, the terrible schism. Yes. <laughs> you mock me, but a person who speaks in legalese and uses words which are completely not words when placed on a Scrabble board. So, what, you're saying I don't play fair? I'm saying you're a Scrabble fraud and a clever dodger of questions put to you by persons trying to get to the truth and meaning of life. Well, at least I don't throw the board across the room when I'm losing like well, you some never people. lose! Oh. You, you don't have the grace to lose. <laughs> you don't get that losing is sometimes the greater thing. Yep, yeah, well, here's where we disagree. <laughs> yes, we do. We aren't the right people for each other, Michael. But we have to get on with our lives and figure out how not to be such wrong people. Look, um, I've got court. It's my closing argument, so I'll sign the papers after the case goes to the jury. If you decide to wear socks, <laughs> bought some of your things. <laughs> ah, yes. You mix the colors with oh, the no. whites. No, <laughs> I am not having a laundry conversation ever again. just flashed in front of my eyes. What? Why? Why? Why are you bringing it up? All I wanted that night was to fall onto the bed with you. I was just taking the things out of my suitcase. And putting them in drawers. It took one minute. I had other plans for that minute. We were in Paris. There was moonlight and a balcony. The first thing you do in Paris is put your socks away. Hey, hey, hey! And don't pick up after well, me! stop throwing your stuff all over the place! Oh, you should try it sometime, it's very liberating! Oh, really? 
really? How about this lady? Huh? Hey, look at that, huh? <sighs> That's right. Yeah, I, uh, I can't seem to break the habit of cutting out articles that will ruin your day and then mine. I don't believe this. How could you still represent the bad guys? You're a good guy. Not good for me, but in the sense of Someone with ideals. You have ideals, I have goals. I'm pretty sure you were the boy who worked next to me at Habitat for Humanity. I did. But I didn't do it for humanity. I did it for you. You did that for me? Yeah, I wanted you to think I was a great guy. Oh, come on. You cried when that family moved <laughs> into that house. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Look, what about you, huh? About, you, you write like poetry, and yet you're wasting all your talents on some I don't know, slick magazine. Jess, you, you, you can't be in here. <laughs> Why not? Well, because we're not the kind of people that can hang out in the bathroom together anymore. It's too bad. Well, it's sweet. Even a man is not sweet as you. So, have you, uh, you started dating? That is such a weird thing for you to ask. I mean, it makes me feel guilty, like I'm betraying you or something. Oh, you had a date then? It was a drink. It's a date. It was a, a pre-date. Hmm. Through the whole relationship in my head, you know, couldn't keep up the conversation, mm -hmm. his politics were iffy. Yeah. He never cried at the movies. Yuck. It was doomed. Yeah. You are uh, you gonna wear that tie? Why? It just makes you look like a person who wears ties, that's all. I am a person that wears ties. As a matter of fact, I was probably wearing a tie when I met you. I think it was this one. <sighs> you know, when I knew that you were... Well, that I was... One night we were sitting on the couch and... And you said to me, I want to read you something. And you... You read aloud to me, and you held my foot. Sometimes I miss the things I hate about you. You maybe... You maybe want... Oh, Jess. Just one last time. It's the one thing we always did. Right together. Oh, babe, you're killing me. I... 20 minutes. That's all we need. 20 minutes of uninterrupted oh. bliss. Look at that big, soft bed. It's practically daring us to do it.
never be able to take a nap with anyone else. Mm.